Mm. Did I ever talk about how red cells are produced? Did I talk about their structure or their function? Okay, in my defense, sometimes doing a thing for a long time, you forget that people can't read your mind. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie and welcome to HeMed. Today, we will look at the red blood cell, which is the most numerous cell in the peripheral blood. They can be called red cells, red blood cells, RBCs, or erythrocytes. In basic terms, they are the oxygen transporter of the body, bringing oxygen to the tissues and removing carbon dioxide. The red cell is an example of cell structure based on the job being performed. The mature cell is biconcave without a nucleus, which gives it the ability to move in the smallest of blood vessels. It stains pinkish orange because of the acidophilic protein hemoglobin. The mature form lacks cellular organelles such as ribosomes and mitochondria. Therefore, if they get damaged, they are unable to repair themselves and get removed from their circulation by the spleen. The red cell has a lifespan of 120 days under normal conditions. The RBC derives from the common myeloid progenitor cell. The stages of maturation are proerythroblasts, basophilic erythroblasts, polychromatic erythroblasts, orthochromatic erythroblasts, polychromatic erythrocyte, and the mature form. The proerythroblast, also called pronormal blast or rubroblast, has a small amount of cytoplasm that is deep blue in color. There may be a pale area next to the nucleus. The nucleus has one to three nucleoli and is reddish purple in color and has a loose lacy chromatin. The basophilic erythroblast, also called the basophilic normoblast or prorubrocyte, has a deep blue purple cytoplasm with occasional pink patches and the cell border can be irregular. A perinuclear halo may be present. The nucleus will not have any distinguishable nucleoli. The chromatin will be tightening and be deep purplish blue in color. The polychromatic erythroblast, also called the polychromatophilic normoblast or rubrocyte, has abundant cytoplasm that is gray blue in color. The nucleus will be eccentric and have tight coarse clumping chromatin. The orthochromatic erythroblast, also called the orthochromatic normoblast or metarubrocyte, has a cytoplasm that is, per the textbook, pink salmon in color with varying amounts of basophilia. The nucleus is eccentric, small, very dense, and pycnotic looking. It pretty much looks like it's done its job. This is the last stage where the RBC will have a nucleus. The polychromatic erythrocyte, also called a reticulocyte, has a diffusely basophilic color and no nucleus. And the mature form has been previously described. Only the reticulocyte and the mature form should be seen in the peripheral blood. The other nucleated forms, termed nucleated red blood cells or NRBCs, are found in the bone marrow. The increased presence of them in the peripheral blood is a statement on how panicked the body is about its ability to be oxygenated. Most NRBCs seen are erythrochromatic erythroblasts and occasionally polychromatic erythroblasts. If the body is to the point where it is releasing the really immature forms, major problems would exist and a lot of experienced morphologists would likely have a hard time identifying these cells. The primary function of the red cell is to carry oxygen from the lungs to the tissue. The secondary function is to return carbon dioxide to the lung and buffer the pH of the blood. But based on the structure of the RBC, oxygen carrying is the main component. The oxygen carrying part of the RBC is the hemoglobin, which is a specialized protein in the cell. Hemoglobin makes up 90% of the cell's dry weight. The pronormoblast stage has a small amount of hemoglobin produced, but approximately 75 to 80% of the cell's hemoglobin is produced during the polychromatic erythroblast stage. The mature form does not contain any nucleus, ribosomes, or mitochondria, therefore is unable to produce any new protein. The hemoglobin molecule is composed of four polypeptide subunits. 
Each subunit is made up of a globulin chain with a heme in the crevice. There are four types of globulin chains, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. Heme is the iron-containing prosthetic or non-amino acid component of the protein. Two alpha chains and two non-alpha chains occur in identical pairs to form a tetramer. The types of globulin chains present determine the type of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin A is two alpha and two beta chains. Hemoglobin A2 is two alpha and two delta chains. And hemoglobin F is two alpha and two gamma chains. I will go more into the different hemoglobins when I do a video on hemoglobin electrophoresis. So today we learned about the red blood cells, its shape, stages of maturation, and function. Subscribe to stay in the loop about future videos. Comment to introduce yourself. It would be nice to get to know you all. Thank you for watching. Until next time.